All right, man, we back, man. I done dropped all them two vehicles I brought back from Texas. I actually uh, ran another uh, load down um, right just into Florida or whatever and came back up. And then uh, me and Harv came out, uh, got loaded real quick so we can go do what we got to do. But um, I kind of want to answer this question. Can you uh, hot shot with... A gas truck. The main issue with that is this right here. You see any gas pumps back here? There are no gas pumps back here. So when you got that trailer and you're trying to get you some fuel, like, don't get me wrong, there are going to be some gas stations that are big enough for you to get in, but for the most part, it's not going to be as easy to find fuel. I know a lot of guys, even with the diesel, they go to gas, uh, regular gas station because they say it's cheaper and all that stuff like that, which I've done it before. I don't like doing it because sometimes it could be a hassle. Now, I like simplicity. So um, me, I have a fuel card. I use a fuel card and I, I, I save some on a fuel card. So if you get a fuel card, you can save some cents on a fuel card or whatever, and you won't have to worry about... Um, you know, sometimes the fuel price it'll cut you a little bit of a little bit of a break. But it's much easier to pull into a truck stop or of some kind, even if it's not a pilot flying J, Mr. Fuel, Loves, or whatever the case may be, a TA. But it's a whole lot easier to get in, get your fuel, get your depth, and get out of there. Like even some of these smaller ones like this one right here, they don't have a uh, depth, you know what I'm saying? So and like some people might feel like it's cheaper to get their depth out of the jug or whatever from the store i don't think so but that's just from my experience because i was using those at first also the next thing is uh the power man a diesel engine of course is going to give you more torque and you need that torque for pulling so that's where i think that's going to be your, one of your biggest drawbacks diesel i believe burns a little slower gas burns up i mean if you got a good amount of weight i mean i can only imagine man you got a gas truck what you're going to be doing what you're going to be seeing um on the highway so but those are like the two biggest things, man. But that that torque, you're gonna need that power. You're gonna need that. Uh, you're gonna need that diesel engine. So I'm, a, I'm not gonna go long on it. I mean, that's just the two main things on it. And this is the other thing. Like you got not gonna see too many uh, places where you can just easily get in and out. Like sometimes you're on the go, you need to grab some fuel, man. You know, no gas back. Here. You know what I'm saying? Diesel. So just keep that part in mind, man. So y'all know, but. Anyway, man, we got uh, these units again. We both uh, loaded up. Like I said, we loaded up on Saturday. They don't have a particular time to uh, deliver, so we both about to go do our reset at home. Uh, he's going home. I'm going home. And then we'll just deliver them sometime next week. So, But, yeah, man, just a quick short one, man. I'm about to get up out of here, man, get back on this road, fuel up, get back going. I just want to touch on that because I know a lot of people um, have been asking about it. A lot of people may be curious. Can you just grab a gas truck and just get to it? Some people, I believe, already have one. And then another thing, too, I wouldn't want a gas truck that big just driving it around even if I wasn't hauling. That's just me personally. I really don't understand too much why they sell them. Maybe it's the reason I that somebody, one of y'all could tell me, but I don't get it. A truck that big, this big, with gas, whether it's a dually or a single rear wheel, I wouldn't want it. But... That's just me. Anyway, man, I'm going to check back with y'all later. I'm about to get out of here, man. We're about to fuel up. And I'll check back with y'all.